Hello, and welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jest to you one page at a time, one day at a time, put it up on the internet, the YouTube.gorb for you to listen to, to your heart's content. Uh, let's just jump right in. I'm just knocking these out. Duck, 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 duck. Page 229. Yeah, here we go. Persons who don't know they know her voice, she feels the desire to raise the veil before a mirror, to refine, refine some of her purse's untouched material, raise the veil, and set free the encaged, rapacious thing inside to breathe the only unclothed gas it can stomach. She feels ghastly and sad. She looks like death. Her mascara is all over the place. No one can tell. The plastic Pepsi bottle and glass cigar tube and lighter and packet of gliss glycine bags are a shape in the corner the rain-darkened cloth purse that rests on the floor just below her dangling clogs. Molly Notkin is standing with Rutherford Keck and Crosby Baum and a radically bad-postured man before the school-supplied Infernatron, Infer yeah, Infernatron viewer. That's capitalized, so some sort of brand name, I'm guessing? Or Infernatron? Baum's wide back and pompadour obscure whatever's on the screen. Academics' voices sound nasal, with a cultivated stutter at sentences start. A good many of James O. Incandenza's films were silent. He was a self-acknowledged visual filmmaker. His damaged grinning boy, Joel, never got to know because Oren had disliked him. Often carried the case with the lens. Because Oren had disliked him, often carried the case. His damaged, grinning boy, Joel, never got to know because Oren had disliked him often, carried the case with the lenses. Man, sometimes the sentences are just Byzantine. Grinning like somebody squinting into bright light. That insufferable child actor Smothergill used to contort his face at the boy, and he'd just laugh, which sent Smothergill into tantrums that Miriam Prickett would resolve in the bathroom somehow. An old Latin revival CD issues at acceptable volume from the speakers screwed into planters and hung with thin chains from each corner of the cream ceiling. Another large loose group is dancing in the cleared space between the cluster of directorial chairs and the bedroom door, most favoring YDAU's Minimal Mambo, this autumn's East Coast anti-craze, the dancers appearing to be just this side of standing still. The subtlest possible hints of fingers snapping under right-angled elbows. Hey, that's my go-to style of dancing. Just bob your head, snap your fingers. That's all you need. Anything else is just showmanship. Oren Incandenza, she has not forgotten, forgotten, had a poor mottled swollen elbow above a forearm the size of a leg of lamb. He had switched neatly from arm to leg. Joel was Oren Incandenza's only lover for 26 months, and his father's optical beloved for 21. A foreign academic with an almost Franciscan bald spot has the swirling limp of someone with a prosthesis, hired by MIT after her time. The better dancers' movements are so tiny they are evocative and compel watching. Their near-static mass curdled and bent somehow suddenly around one beautiful young woman quite beautiful her back undulating minimally in a thin tight blue and white striped sailorish top as she alludes to a cha-cha with maracas empty of anything to rattle watching herself almost dance in the full-length mirror of quality plate that after oren left joelle had forbidden jim to hang and had slid beneath her bed face down and now it's the west wall's framed mirror Hung between two empty, ornate gilt frames, Not can think she's been retro-ironic by having the frames themselves framed, in rather less ornate frames, in wry allusion to the early experialist fashion of making art out of accessories of artistic presentation, the framed frames hanging not quite evenly on either side of the mirror he'd cut for the scenes of that last ghastly thing he'd made her stand before, reciting in the openly empty tones... Yeah, yeah, that's page 229 of uh, this book, Infinite Jest. Yeah, I'm content to leave it there. I wish you a good night.